So I used to love taking my little triangle grilled cheese sandwich and dipping it inside the tomato soup. And after I finished, you know what I'm saying, drink the tomato soup. What are you talking about? I've been waiting for it like a long line. You search the world and you won't find a nigga like me with a swagger like mine. A brother so free and a nigga so fly. I'ma give you my heart, I'ma give you my time, and I promise always. Yo, it's your boy Tyrell. And today, I'm gonna be making some grilled cheese sandwiches. Now the cheese I chose, Daya American style slices. Now, I actually never had this before, um, so it's kind of like a review. I also want to try um, Follow Your Heart cheese. I heard that was pretty good as well. And maybe in the near future, I'll do um, the Follow Your Heart. You know what I'm saying? Pretty simple. I got me some vegan butter. Got me some bread and I got some cheese. All you need. Now grilled cheese is probably like an American classic in my opinion. When I was a kid, I used to eat grilled cheese sandwiches with some tomato soup. You know what I mean? So if this is good, I'm gonna be able to relive some of those childhood memories. I used to love taking my little triangle grilled cheese sandwich and dipping it inside the tomato soup. And after I finish, you know what I'm saying, drink the tomato soup. I'm hoping this tastes good. So what I'm gonna do first actually is I'm gonna take a bite of the cheese by itself, no bread and no uh, butter. And then I'm gonna make a grilled cheese sandwich. So, let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try it by itself first. I don't go around eating cheese by itself anyway, so it all tastes good by itself. I'm not really stressing. I don't just eat cheese like this, you know what I mean? It kinda smells like butter. It smells like butter. Oh man, I'm very, very nervous about this, guys. Not bad. It definitely tastes like cheese. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing by itself, you know what I'm saying? But that's pretty good. So by itself so far, that's not bad. I'll probably give it like a, man, for vegan cheese, probably like an eight and a half out of 10. Maybe even a nine. That's pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and warm this pan up. We're gonna make a grilled cheese version of this and we're gonna see if it tastes good with the grilled cheese. Now, if it tastes good by itself, Nine times out of ten, it's gonna taste good, um, you know, as a grilled cheese sandwich. But we're gonna find out for ourselves. So I already ate this part right here. I'm just gonna put that on there. But I like my grilled cheese sandwiches cheesy. Let's teach you guys a trick. You see this? Now, if I didn't bite that right there, it'd fill this part up. But if you want your grilled cheese sandwiches to fill up, you know how sometimes people they take a bite of the grilled cheese sandwich, they'll bite it and it's be all bread because you ain't putting no cheese on it. Put your cheese like this, kind of overlap it. That way every bite is cheesy, you feel me? Then I'm gonna take some of this butter by Smart Balance, vegan friendly. I'm gonna go ahead and just coat the pan with some butter, guys. It's gonna give it that, that nice buttery taste. Tastes like butter. I'm gonna let that melt up a little bit. This is getting me excited, man. Cause if I can do grilled cheese sandwiches with tomato soup again, my life is gonna be complete. So I just eat grilled cheese sandwiches all the time. So then what you're gonna do is, just gonna go ahead and just set it on there. Get yourself a spatula. All you're gonna do is just press down. You feel me? Press down. So what this, what's happening, if you guys never made a grilled cheese sandwich, in some places they call it like cheese bread or something like that. They don't call it grilled cheese sandwiches, but in the United States of America, they, they call this a grilled cheese sandwich. Pretty much like what's happening here is the bottom of the bread is toasting. While that's toasting, the cheese is melting. And then, so it's gonna toast on one side, I'm gonna flip it, and it's gonna toast on the other side, and hopefully the cheese melts. So that's another thing I'm gonna be looking for. I'm gonna be seeing how the cheese react to the heat. If it's gonna melt, if it's gonna stay the same. And so far, it ain't melted yet. <laughs> We're gonna see, man. I'm gonna let this cook uh, probably for about, I don't know, three minutes on each side, two minutes on each side, depending on how fast your uh, stove top is. Let's check on it, see if it's brown, and then flip it. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, there you have it. Now, it didn't melt the best on the outside, but on the middle, it melted pretty decent. So you guys can see that. It smells amazing, guys. I'm telling you right now, this <laughs> smells delicious, man. But we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste test anyway. There we go. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten, dog. Oh man. 
Alright. It tastes like regular cheese, man. Bro, it's not just like regular cheese, dog. If you blindfolded me and you gave me this and you was like, yo, what is this right here? I taste a grilled cheese sandwich with regular cheese. I don't taste the difference. So I'll definitely be picking up this Daya um, cheese slices, man, for sure. Guys, comment down below if you tried this. This is new. But when I went to the store, I seen that they had provolone, they had like, or no, not provolone, they had like Swiss, mild cheddar, different different types. But this right here is good as hell, man. I'm definitely gonna be making some grilled cheese sandwiches and some tomato soup. Be looking out for those videos in the future. You need to try this. Like, if you have this diet cheese in your grocery store, try it. I promise you, you're not gonna be able to taste the difference. If you eat it by itself, like plain, not a grilled cheese, you might be able to tell a little difference. But with this grilled cheese sounds right here, 10 out of 10, guys. That's my word. You guys know I'm the plug when it comes to these reviews, man. I won't steer you wrong. Amazing. Go try it. Uh, we're going to end the video on a positive comment. Shout out to my boy, Joe Walker. Joe said, well said, bro. Keep doing what you are doing. And one day you can make an impact on the world and your community as well. 100. Shout out to Joe, man. Me and Joe actually go way back to when we was like six, seven years old. We played basketball together, man. Um, but, you know, that coming from you means a lot to me. Um, I'm definitely trying to make an impact in my community, in the black community especially, but as a community as a whole, you know, not to take my words out of context, but um, the black community, man, we need to do better. We need to eat better. You know, and I think my people, um, you know, we're so used to eating, you know, chicken and pig feet and chitlins and all this stuff that's not healthy for you. It's really killing you instead of helping you. Um, you know, my goal is to start within my family first and then work my way out by leading by an example i want to lead by an example and help people so thank you joe for that reminder but with all that being said don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that subscribe button also turn on the bell so you can get notifications anytime i post anytime and i will see y'all next video what are you talking about? What are you talking about?